Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over the two brand new medals that just recently came out in the global version of the game. Uh, and that's going to be part of the Kingdom Hearts 3 Falling Price deal where we feature the Kingdom Hearts 3 Youth in Black and Youth in White. Now, these medals are honestly, they're, they're in, uh, I don't know how to word it. Off the bat, they're nothing that special, but out of the two, Youth and White, Youth and White <laughs> is the one that's probably gonna be the one that you wanna look at the most. Um, but either way, let's uh, quickly go over what the medals are first, what they do before I go ahead and give any thoughts or advice about it. So, first of all, we have Supernova, Kingdom Hearts 3, Youth and White. Uh, obviously it's young Ericus, but they're calling it Youth for some reason, okay. But anyways, Kingdom Hearts 3 Youth and White. Uh, it's a tier 9 metal AoE, costs 6 gauges, does 4 hits, has a 7 star multiplier of a 42.71 to a 49.70 for one turn. It raises your guilt by 180%, does not affect counters, and does more damage the bigger your party size. Its supernova ability has a 160 multiplier but goes to 200% or times 200 and when involved with Meow Wows. Uh, has an original 200% guilt boost, but is upgraded to 250% when upgraded, as well as for one turn raises your PSM defense by 10 tiers. Its normal buffs and debuffs contains a general strength buff by 10 tiers, raises your PSM defense, not strength, defense, by 10 tiers, lowers the opponent's general defense by 10 tiers, and lowers the opponent's general strength, not defense, strength by five tiers. Supernova Kingdom Hearts 3 Youth in Black is a tier nine AOE medal, six gauges, four hits, uh, seven star multiplier of a 42.71 to a 49.70. Is Everything is basically exactly the same as Youth in White. The only difference are its boss and debuffs, where it raises your general strength by 15 tiers, raises your PSM strength by 15 tiers, raises your reverse strength by 10 tiers, and lowers the opponent's reverse defense by 10 tiers. Now, overall, between the two of these, um, the one that's probably going to make the most significant difference is going to be Youth and White, primarily because of the fact that Youth and White is the first medal in the game that actually lowers PSM strength um, rather than overwrites it, okay? Because as of right now, for every single medal in the game uh, that can debuff uh, PSM strength in any way, shape, or form, they've all been overwrite medals. Um, off the top of my head, I believe there is Mrs. Incredible, uh, Kyrene Shown EX Plus. Uh, I'm believe there might be one or two more, but I don't remember what they are off the top of my head. Uh, but they all have been overwrite. So, oh, I think it was like the, the Foreteller EX Plus medals. I think those also did it too. But every single medal with PSM strength debuffs have all been overwrite medals. So, Young, or Eric is, Youth and White, Youth and White is the first medal that can actually lower it rather than overwrite it. Meaning that if you copy it multiple, multiple times, um, you can actually finally, for the first time, actually achieve a max strength debuff or general strength and PSM strength to minus 15 tiers, which is more or less essential for turtling purposes. Now, whether or not how useful this is going to be in the relative or in, you know, soon, how soon will this be uh, needed is to be seen. Uh, but if you do wish to complete your turtling purposes, this is a metal you're going to need. Okay. In terms of Youth in Black, though, the only thing that kind of really makes me appreciate Youth in Black is the fact that it provides PSM strength at max uh, buffs rather than just its respective attribute at max buffs. So that's the only thing that kind that kind of like caught my eye about him but other than that like youth and black there's nothing really too special about youth and black it's multiplier is pretty pretty decent it's nothing fantastic though it's nothing outrageous yeah youth and black is good but not like there's nothing special really about it that makes me go ooh, maybe i should get that uh it's really mostly about master ericus now 
aside from that, or Youth and White, I should say. I, I see Ericus, so I automatically think Ericus. But aside from that, let's quickly go ahead and take a look at the banners. So I've kind of <laughs> I've kind of stated my opinion about these type of banners already before in the past. Uh, but it's a return of the standard Kingdom Hearts 3 banners that we've been receiving for what the past few months, basically ever since Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. Uh, just off the top of my head, without even looking at the banner, my first thought is I might as well just skip this banner just because of the fact that I absolutely hate, I despise this format that they keep doing where it's uh, it's basically, it's like a mercy, but not really a mercy. Uh, in this case, at the very least, it's a 50-50 mercy. So it's a lot better than, you know, the three for ones that we've been getting in the last few weeks or so. Uh, but nonetheless, it's still not really a mercy. Um, I would much rather they would have separate Kingdom Hearts 3 deals like this for each individual medal rather than making it, you know, a chance to get the medal you want from the mercy. Okay, it's, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, but aside from that, it's following the same standard format. We're on the, uh, the free to play banner, the grayed out banner. Okay, or the white one, I guess you should say. You get two Kingdom Hearts, two medals, uh, and the rest are kind of irrelevant. And in the VIP deal, you can get up to four Kingdom Hearts, three medals. Uh, and the VIP deal is also obviously five Plum Mercy. Free to play deal is 10 Plum Mercy. Okay. Honestly, there's nothing really too special about the banners themselves. They're basically almost exactly the same as the previous Kingdom Hearts, three banners. Um, and pretty much because of that, and because of the fact that there's nothing too special about the medals the only thing that's special is really ericus because of the fact he provides the general or the psm strength debuffs um but whether or not that's actually worth 30k jewels for free debate players for the chance of possibly getting them to me it, it's not worth it you're better off just just skipping it even for a free to play i mean even for a vip player um i just don't feel like there's an enough value to warrant chasing for it to be honest um, they're good medals, but nothing fantastic enough that makes me go, ooh, yeah, I need, I need to get this, or at least try to get this, okay? I'm very curious what you guys have to think about it. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.